today is September 12th. As you can see, my Inktober sketch box has arrived today. I got the notification that it was shipping on September 8th. It took four days for it to get here. Um, so we have about a month until Inktober starts. Inktober is an inking event in um, October. Last year I did participate. You can check out some of those videos by clicking right here if you're interested. I'm currently working on a list of helpful uh, topics and resources over on the blog. So you can head over there and check that out as well if you're interested. Um, since we do have a month, I thought it would be best to start early so you guys can go ahead and get your stuff together. Um, and that's why I am doing the unboxing right now as well. Some of you have requested that I do this. Um, this is not included in the monthly subscription fee. This is something that I did have to purchase separately out of pocket. It was not sent to me care of. It was not sent to me for the purposes of review. I did purchase it for the purposes of review and all opinions are my own. They are founded on, let's see, seven years of writing an art supply review two years of graduate school at SCAD for comics. So I do have a master's degree in comics, uh, four years with a fine art degree at the University of New Orleans, and um, just several years of working as a comic artist and illustrator at conventions, doing freelance, working for various companies and various people. So while I know I do sound very young, um, part of that is because I'm a short woman, I'm 5'3", and I guess my vocal cords never hit full maturity. It's something that's kind of frustrating for me, um, but I am qualified to review this. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this review and I hope you enjoy this look, this sneak peek at the Inktober box for Art Snacks. So we have a nice big box here. They did promise many exclusives. They did promise lots of exciting inking supplies. I'm a little skeptical. Um, I've spent a lot of time reviewing inking supplies over on the blog, natosoup.blogspot.com. So it kind of takes a lot to surprise me. It does happen every now and then though. All right. And I apologize for our angle of viewing um, as well as for the fuzzy border around it my ink, my inking set setup did fall no my video setup did fall apart on me and I'm still working on getting it fixed and they want us to share our unboxing with them same way they want us to share our challenge stuff with them all right so, um, so far so sad. I'm not seeing anything at all that I haven't seen before. But let's take a look at it together, shall we? Oh, a note. Um, so, we've got a Tachikawa nib holder. I've, um, actually this is a Zig one. I've used the Tachikawa. The Tachikawa comes with this really nice, um, plastic cap. Otherwise, it's identical. These can hold both croquil nibs and um, like G or spoon nibs. So if you're interested in ink, uh, nib inking, and I guess we're going to be covering that this um, at some point this month, going over it together. I prefer inking with a brush, um, but there are many cartoonists, many comic artists who do enjoy inking with a nib. So we have that. We do also have a brush. It is a Princeton Kalinsky Sable. Um, <sighs> Kalinsky is supposed to be a good brush for inking. Um, unfortunately, my experiences with Princeton have all been subpar. My inking brushes of choice are the Winsor Newton Series 7 and the Creative Mark uh, Rhapsody. Both of those are excellent inking brushes, so we'll find out how the Princeton Kalinsky Sable holds up later on this month. We have a jar of Zig Sumi ink. Now, I will warn you guys, this is not Copic proof and um, it is often not waterproof. So this is going to be for your black and white work only. If you want to ink with a nib or with a brush and use Copics over it, I highly recommend you get Kaime Soul K ink instead. Actually, um, that is not waterproof. So if you want something that's waterproof, you're going to want um, an acrylic ink would be good, although alcohol markers will reactivate acrylic ink. So the, sort of the sad thing is that with inks, especially liquid inks like these, if something is going to be Copic proof, it is probably not going to be waterproof because there are two main types of solvents, things that are going to be al alcohol reactive and things that are water reactive. 
So you just, it's important to know what your art supplies are made of and how they react because it'll greatly improve your chances of hitting on a successful combination. Which is why I think it's important that this sort of information be made accessible to artists. And it often isn't. We often have to find out through trial and error, which is pretty frustrating. All right, and I know we have cards. We're gonna take a look at the cards in a minute. We have a big Ink Snacks uh, Inktober and get a picture of that and if you guys need to see any stills from this you can go ahead and check out my blog and it feels like it's got plate Bristol it's by made by Denick art can change the world um, and it is a limited edition to art snacks and in my September review you got well the one I'm working on right now I do comment that I feel like Art Snacks is focusing a bit much on the exclusives and sometimes they're a bit light in what they include in the box. Um, we have a two, no, three Zig pen nibs for manga, a Seiji pen, which looks pretty similar if you're familiar with nibs to a spoon nib. Not quite, but very similar. We also have a Pentel pocket brush. So this will be my sixth, I believe. And some of you guys have asked me if I've ever used them. I do use them. I don't, um, they're not my favorite. Um, I've reviewed them over on the blog. I can link you guys to that. They are very popular though for very quick gesture ink sketching. And when I was in Japan, I did a lot of my um, very quick drawing with a Pentel pocket brush. So if you're traveling, they can be great and a Copic .3 multi-liner, and it's an SP. Um, so they give you a wide variety of um, inking utensils to play around with. Um, unfortunately, none of them are um, actually that exciting or exclusive. I mean, the Denik is pretty exciting with the what feels like a plate finish, but most of these are things you can very easily get on jet pens. And if you read my blog, many of these things are things I have talked about at some point. So let's go ahead and read the cards. We've got this large Inktober Collection card, the limited edition custom Inktober and Denix Spiral Sketchbook is an $18 retail value. Um, so I'll go ahead and pause for a second right here to talk to you guys about something. First of all, that's why I don't like exclusives. I don't like fancy sketchbooks. I feel like for many artists, sketch fancy sketchbooks create this um, arbitrary boundary between creating art because you don't want to make something ugly in your fancy sketchbook. Now, um, if you're playing along at home and you don't have the Inktober collection, that's fine. I recommend you go out and you get the Strathmore Visual Art Journal with Plate Bristol. It's got a very similar finish with thicker paper, very nice thick paper. This is kind of thin like cardstock. Um, it's going to cost you much less than $18 and you're going to feel much less pressure. It also has a nicer chipboard backing and a nicer cover than this Denik Inktober exclusive. Um, and that's just me. Let me see if I can grab one. Yeah. All right. Yeah. This is my, um, yeah, it's vellum, not plate, but I'm recommending you get plate because plate means it has a smooth finish. Um, this is my Strathmore visual journal. I use it for Copic work often, also for testing things and for inking. As you can see, it's got a heavy chipboard front. It's got a heavy chipboard back, and when you fold it over, that makes it even uh, even heavier. That's like a quarter inch of thickness right there. Um, this one is a little smaller. You can get them bigger. You can get them 18 by 11. Um, this size is a little hard for some people to ink on. This is going to be a lot more useful for you and a lot um, less expensive for you than a specialty sketchbook, specialty journal. Um, so it has um, number 124 stark white pages ready to be inked. It uh, doesn't actually say what the finish on this is, so I, I can only go by my familiarity with paper as a comic artist. It does feel like um, a smooth finish uh, cardstock. I can't yet tell if there is a coating on it. Many papers do have a coating on it. That's something you also need to be aware of because when you're inking, um, the coating 
often means the ink takes longer to dry. I recommend you always let your inks dry for 24 hours before you watercolor or you apply Copic markers over them. That's just, you know, for best results. At least an hour before erasing, that'll help prevent ghosting. Um, so, 124 stark white pages ready to be inked. Art Snacks collaborated with notebook company Denik to create a limited edition sketchbook that is unique to this collection. So, unfortunately, those of you inking along at home, you're not going to have this available, so go get that Strathmore sketchbook. I will link, I mean, Strathmore Visual Art Journal. They are not a sponsor of my channel. They're not a sponsor of me at all. I am very familiar with their products. I really like their products. Um, you can find a link in the description below. Art Snacks collaborated with notebook company Denik to create a limited edition sketchbook that is unique to this collection. The 7x9 spiral sketchbook is perfect place to keep your practice doodles or your finished pieces. Um, and a smooth finish like this is actually very frustrating to um, for younger artists or for less experienced artists because it smears really badly when you use graphite on it. So just a heads up on that. I'm just trying to help you guys have the best results as possible because I enjoy doing Inktober and I want you guys to do Inktober. And I want to limit that barrier of entry for you guys as much as I possibly can. So next is the Zig Kurtake Cartoonist Sumi Ink, number 60. I have a bottle of this already so I may not even use this, um, this Inktober. 60 milliliters of intense liquid pigments. Sumi is the Japanese word for black ink painting. Um, and you guys are familiar with where Sumi Ink comes from, right? Um, Okay. Uh, it doesn't, it is not a lacquer base ink, it is a pigment base ink. And this one does say it's waterproof after dry, but I've had some bad experiences with it reactivating. Um, so naturally put, we put it in the Art Snacks Inktober collection. Allow 5 to 10 minutes for ink drawings to fully dry to a matte finish. Again, one hour, please. Um, this Sumi ink will not lift or smear when erasing post inking. To avoid smudging and bleeding while adding color, use alcohol based markers around your Sumi ink collection. You know, I don't know how much I've played around with this with alcohol markers, so we're going to have to find out about that. It is water-based, so that would mean, theoretically, your alcohol markers would not reactivate this. But sometimes, with pigment-based inks, your alcohol markers will pick up some of the particles and it will ruin the nib. So that is something we need to play around with. Kuretake Zig Cartoonist Pin Nibs. Oh, and I didn't go over the price for this one. Sorry, I'm all over the place this morning. Uh, $8.50 retail. Set of three, $3.99 retail. Th three beautifully engineered Japanese metal nibs for your inking pleasure. Oh, and I'll teach you guys how to prepare these things because they do have like an oil coating to preserve them to keep them from rusting. I'll show you guys how to eliminate that. There's a couple of ways. Um, used for lettering or comic book drawing, these pin nibs produce a variety of lines. Try experimenting by adding pressure to the nib to create a thicker stroke. To clean, gently pull nib out of nib holder and use soap and water. Warning, pin nibs are sharp. Please be careful while ha handling your new pin nibs. And the problem with soap and water... Sorry, I'm being like a, a real... <laughs> really nitpicky. But I have that SCAD education, so I really want to share it with you guys because I took an advanced inking class and we learned all sorts of things in there. And it's Inktober, so it's the perfect time to try out that knowledge. Soap and water can cause these to rust. Uh, Kuretake Zig Cartoonist Nib Holder. $5 retail. The wooden wand for your pin nib. We chose this model because of its modern style and comfortable design. Mount the blunt end of the pin nib into the pin holder ring. Make sure the pin nib is tight to in tight in place to avoid spilling or breakage. Watch this video on how to properly assemble your dip pin. Um, and they do give a link, but I'm going to demonstrate for that for you guys soon enough. Uh, HTTP colon backslash backslash ARTSN dot AX backslash 2ASDODB. Um, like I said, I'll demonstrate that for you guys. Princeton Kalinsky Sable Short Handle Brush. Whoa, $29.95 retail. You gotta be kidding me. That's a size 4 too. I like using a size 2 and below. Um, yeah. The Mercedes bins of paintbrushes. Alright, okay. Time out. FYI, most comic artists really do prefer the Winsor Newton Series 7. That is considered the primo 
the Tesla. There were some hand assembled um, brushes that were quite popular among serious business anchors a couple years ago, um, but she's no longer doing them anymore. And Windsor Newton does occasionally have quality control issues, but I've had far fewer problems with Windsor Newton products than I have with, with Princeton products. Art Snacks has been sending me a lot of Princeton brushes, so I have a feeling they have a deal going on. But like, Princeton, I mean really y'all, come on. Um, and for $29.95 retail, you gotta be kidding me. You could get a nicer uh, Creative Mark Rhapsody brush from Jerry's Art Arama. You could get like two for that price. So um, I don't know if I'm gonna call this the Mercedes Benz of paintbrushes. No line, nylon, no synthetics or plastic here. Just wood, metal, and Kalinsky sable hair. Prized for maintaining their fine shape and superior stroke control, the amount of pigments or liquids this brush can hold is staggering. Mm. Dip your brush into the Sumi ink to experience this firsthand. Y'all know, y'all know me by now. When you start making claims like that, I gotta go pull out my other supplies and we gotta go toe to toe. Because you guys, you art nerds, you viewers, my wonderful community, you guys mean way more to me than some art subscription box I'm paying for or their claims. So we're gonna find out. We're gonna we're gonna figure this out together. I've never used a non-synthetic Princeton brush, to my knowledge, because I just go with like a. I've used a Skoda. I've used Windsor Newton. I've used um, Creative Mark Rhapsody. Like I said, I have used a fair number of Kalinsky Sable brushes. I've used Windsor Newton's collaboration with Blick. Um, I am not unfamiliar with Kalinsky Sable. As a watercolorist, I use it. As a comic book artist, I use it. Never used Princeton for that. Would never think to grab a Princeton for that. So we're gonna find out. Copic Multiliner SP. Use the heck out of these. I use a .3, which is the size we have right here. Specifically, when I was doing Small Blessings for the Hanadoki Kira Anthology. So I'm super familiar with these. This type is refillable. You can replace the nib up here. You do need a special remover for that, and I have one of those. And you can replace their cartridges in here. I'm not gonna pull it out because that, oh, like, over pulling out the cart for this can ruin the cartridge. Um, you can replace this as well. So basically what you're paying the big bucks for is the metal body. Um, so if you don't like putting a lot of extra plastic garbage into the environment, this is a step up. Um, $9.95 retail, a futuristic pen with waterproof and refillable archival ink. It is also, by the way, Copic marker proof. Uh, its aluminum body gives it a more sleek industrial look, fitting since it's designed to last a lifetime. Copic pens are a great way to, for quick drawings, are great for quick drawings, as well as more timely masterpieces. Um, yeah, sure. I, I usually push people to get the SP if they use, um, Copic multiliners a lot, just because they the SPs do hold up better. Um, Pentel Pocket Brush, staff favorite, $19.99 retail. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. 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 No. 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 About 13 bucks retail. Lower, if you know where to shop. I'm not, I don't even have to look that up. I've bought so many of these. I know Jet Pins has it lower. Michaels has it lower. Dick Blick has it lower. Jerry's has it lower. Yes. Three of the, two of those are big box art supply stores that tend to be underpriced, according to you wonderful viewers. Although, let's be honest, it is very smart. We are all on limited budgets. We do need to shop around. Michael's is not considered a budget art supply store, FYI. Artists generally do not shop at Michael's unless you've got a 50% off coupon, because they do tend to be a little on the high side. And Jet Pins is by no means a big box store. Um, and usually I don't like them giving, don't like giving them my vote of endorsement, but in this case, I mean, they are cheaper than the price recommended. An inky pen for your on-the-go doodles, thin and delicate or thick and bold. If there's a line you want, this pen will give it to you. It has a nylon brush tip and offers smooth and powerful line, but can also give you fun expressive lines too. It's a lifelong favorite in Jake Parker's toolbox. And Jake Parker is the founder of Inktober, by the way. Y'all, we get a we get a Art Snacks exclusive art offer. <laughs> That's weird because like I appreciate that, but I paid a lot of money to take an inking class while I was getting my graduate degree. So it's like, mm, yes, I could do that. It could be fun, but I am super busy this month. Um, SVA's putting this on. No wait, 
SVS. I'm so sorry, I misread. How to Ink class with Jake Parker from the Society of Visually, Visual Storytelling, and it is an individual class with a $25 value. Um, Society of Visual Storytelling is an online catalog of art classes for mastering techniques and learning new skills. The How to Ink class is taught by the Inktober founder, Jake Parker. Get access to this class free through the link. Boo -doo 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 -boo. Sorry, guys. Oh, and for you guys, if you want to participate along, I actually kind of have my own plans for Inktober. I tend to do theme things and then I put together mini comics or um, ash cans. And you can guys can check out 2015's Favorite Fictional Femme by clicking this link for the digital Gumroad download or this link to purchase the physical copy. Um, so they have a wonderful little calendar. It is laminated so it makes it difficult to X these things off. With a prompt for every day, there doesn't really seem to be much of a theme to it. So if you were trying to put together an ash can, the only theme you could say is Inktober. And I like my themes to be a little bit more um, tied together than, you know, just, hey, my Inktober drawings. Um, so I will take a picture of that. You guys can check that out on the blog. I will try to get this out as soon as possible in case you guys do want to play along. get a note from Jake as well as a cute illustration of a octopus holding nibs. Hello, here we are at the beginning of another Inktober. A month of inky pages, dirty hands, and fired up imaginations await us. It's a month that's all at once hard, refreshing, tedious, and relaxing. Whether you've done it several times or it's your first, Inktober always pushes you to, to level up your skill and forces you to think outside the box. It's a challenge designed to form positive drawing habits and break you out of creative slumps. It creates a fertile ground for ideas to sprout and techniques to grow. It's a challenge that keeps you on the path to mastering your craft. I guarantee Guarantee that artists who finish Inktober, that the artist who finishes Inktober is a better, wiser, and happier artist than the one who started it. Have fun this month. May your pen stay wet, your fingers stay inky, and the spark of imagination stay bright in your soul. Your friend Jake Par Parker, Utah, October 2016. Aw, that's really nice. We also get a airhead and an Inktober sticker. So, um, if you guys are interested in the value of this box, keep watching this channel for me to do an overview. It might take a while, because like I said, September is crazy busy for me. And at this point in time, I haven't even gotten around to the arts, the September Art Snacks and Sketchbox overview video. Just been super duper busy. Um, I've got Schwibby this weekend. It is a children's book illustrator and writer conference. So I am busy prepping for that. Um, and I'm working through commissions, and I just finished chapter six of Seven Inch Kara, my ongoing children's watercolor comic, and you can click the link right there for volume one, which is chapters one through four. You checking it out helps me out a lot. I super appreciate it. It is my baby, and I love it. If you guys enjoyed this video, or if you've got something to say, there's a few ways you can get in touch with me. One, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I super duper appreciate it. it. Let's me know I'm doing a good job. Sometimes I feel like I am working all alone because I live in Nashville, Tennessee, and I don't actually know that many artists who are as interested in physical supplies as I am. Most artists, so I am kind of a lost, lonely sheep over here. Wah, wah, bah, bah. Um, so yeah, leave a like. Um, if you enjoyed this and you are not yet a subscriber, why not? Join the Art Nerd community by clicking subscribe down there or at the uh, button at the end of the video. If you have something to say, if you think I'm an idiot, if you like what I had to say, if you're a reader or whatever, um, leave a comment. Just try to be civil. I am a human being. I do have feelings that can get hurt. I do take things personally sometimes. So, you know, try to be kind. Let's have a good conversation here. If you are just flat out mean, just flat out ugly, I gotta say bye bye and I gotta delete that comment. Cause, uh, you know, there's no room for that much negativity in my life. Um, burr, 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 burr. If you really enjoyed this video, please take a moment to share it to your social networks using the handy social sharing buttons below. You're doing me a huge favor when you do that because you're helping me expand my audience and you're introducing new people to stuff like this, people who might be interested. Um, so you get to look cool because you're sharing awesome stuff. You help me grow my audience, which means a lot to me because I'm trying to get sponsors and I'm trying to get eyes over here. So, you know, that would be super awesome been doing this for seven years. Time to get that ball really rolling, right? Um, 
And I love sharing my knowledge with new people. I paid all that money to go to school. Um, hopefully I can help save you some money by teaching you stuff you wouldn't otherwise know, right? We all can benefit here. And I love art. I love art supplies. It's my addiction. It's my weakness. So I have a lot of stuff to share with you guys. Let's see. Okay, so we talked about liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing. Oh, if you really, really like my stuff, head on over to the blog, natasoup.blogspot.com for seven years worth of reviews and tutorials, tips, tricks, all sorts of good stuff, especially when it comes to inking. Guys, I have reviewed so many brush pins, so many brush pins, and you can find those by checking out the review tab over in my top side, uh, it's not even a sidebar, it's like a head bar. Top head bar. Find those there. Um, lastly, third, thirdly, four billion thief, something like that. Um, if you want to help me make content like this, because this isn't cheap, I paid for this out of pocket. I don't have any sponsors. You know, you know how it goes. Um, you guys can head over to my Patreon for information on how to join the art nerd community, including exclusive looks. This video is going up to them first before you guys even saw it because it's kind of like a little bonus video a little thank you guys for bearing with me so if you're interested in that sort of stuff head on over to my patreon for information on how to join the community i'm becca hilburn thank you guys so much for hanging out with me it's always great to see you guys I love sharing this sort of stuff with you i can't wait to teach you guys all sorts of inky goodness for inktober so i'll see you guys later bye